Welcome to Epics Fitness, where we bring you the ultimate biceps guide, hosted by none other than the godfather of bodybuilding himself, Charles Glass. Prepare to take your bicep gains to the next level as Charles breaks down the secret that will have your biceps bulging like never before. Biceps. Nothing exudes strength like a full developed set of arms. Developed arms can make or break your favorite shirt. The last thing any of us want is to put on a shirt and have the sleeves flap around like a flag waving from a flagpole on a windy day. It may surprise you to hear this, but you can make dramatic gains to your arms if you execute form properly. Biceps have three components, the short head, the long head, and the brachialis. I generally make it a point to attack each area during a workout. These muscles receive indirect work when you conduct your back workouts. Therefore, I usually only do three exercises for the biceps. This is also why I do not pair biceps with back work. Hammer strength preacher curls short head, brachialis. The key to this exercise is ensuring you keep your shoulders from doing the lifting. To do this, you have to ensure that your upper arms are glued into the pad. The leverage of the curl must come from your elbows. This means your elbows have to drive into the pad throughout the movement. As we have discussed earlier, our goal when training is to maintain tension on the fibers. Therefore, when you curl upwards, you should only curl to the point where tension stops being placed on the biceps. Coming higher than that will remove tension from the biceps. Although this video demonstrates a machine, the same principles apply when using doing free weight preacher curls. This exercise can be done with a wide or narrow grip. Keep the wrists cocked back slightly during the movement. This ensures maximal tension on the biceps. Lower the bar until being just short of lockout. Drive elbows into the pad throughout the movement. Do not let them come off the pad when you curl upward. If this happens, you are not positioned properly on the bench. Make sure you are not rocking the weight upwards with your shoulders each repetition. We've noticed that many of you enjoying Epic's fitness content haven't hit subscribe yet. Imagine elevating your fitness journey while backing a mission that matters. That's the power of subscribing. Clicking that subscribe button isn't just about getting top-notch workouts, nutrition hacks, and holistic wellness insights. Here's the big news. We've built the fitness app we've been talking about. It's ready for you to access, packed with features designed to take your fitness journey to new heights. Your subscription is a powerful gesture, signaling to us, I believe in what you're doing. It's the spark that drives us to craft content that's perfectly aligned with your aspirations. So, be part of Epic's fitness evolution. Together, let's foster a fitter, empowered community. One subscriber, one user at a time. Dive in, access our app, and subscribe now. Let's discuss the hammer strength preacher curl exercise, which also applies to basic preacher curls. When performing this exercise, it is crucial to keep your elbows and triceps firmly pressed against the pad. Aim to maintain a slightly round-shouldered posture, leaning over the pad. The width of your grip can vary, either narrow or wide. In this particular demonstration, the grip is wide. Take note that the individual is not seated in the chair. Instead, his thighs are resting against the seat. This positioning ensures that the weight and support are primarily focused on the preacher pad, optimizing the effectiveness of the exercise. Incline curls long head. Incline curls are a great way to restrict the movement of the upper arm so as to ensure the shoulders do not come into play during the exercise. Sit on an incline bench. You will need to pinch your shoulder blades together and arch your chest upwards. If you have difficulty arching your chest upward, place a dumbbell on the ground in front of you. Use a dumbbell greater than 40 pounds and place your feet on top of the dumbbells. The purpose of the dumbbells is to help anchor you into the bench to further isolate your upper arms. The angle of the bench is dependent upon your ability to lay your upper arms against the bench with your hands pointed directly outwards to your sides. This means that your upper arms will be parallel to the mirror if you are facing a mirror. If you have stiff shoulders, your ability to point your hands outward may be inhibited. The bench will rest higher if this is the case. Keep your wrists slightly cocked back. Lower your arms just short of lockout in the bottom position. Raise the dumbbells as high as possible while maintaining tension on the biceps. Let's focus on the basic incline curl exercise. Take note of the bench height, which is set at approximately 45 degrees. During this exercise, it's important to maintain a slight backward wrist cock. Observe how the individual in the video has their wrists slightly cocked backward. This wrist position helps apply pressure to the biceps. 
enhancing the effectiveness of the exercise. Unlike triceps exercises where the wrists are cocked forward, the incline curl benefits from the opposite wrist position. Another advantage of performing curls on an incline bench is that it minimizes shoulder involvement. Many people tend to incorporate their shoulders and exhibit poor form when performing barbell curls, which compromises the targeted hypertrophy of the biceps. Take note of the height and range of motion demonstrated in the curls. The dumbbells are not lifted all the way up to the shoulders. Completing the full range of motion by bringing the dumbbells up to the shoulders would diminish tension on the biceps, thereby reducing the effectiveness of the exercise. Standing barbell drag curls, short head of the biceps. Stand upright. Take a shoulder width hand grip. Drag the bar upwards, keeping it against your torso the entire time. Stop at the bottom of your rib cage. As you pull up, pull your elbows backwards. Imagine you are breaking a walnut with your arms. Pay attention that you do not shrug your traps when you pull upwards. This will reduce the tension placed on the biceps. Pull your traps down as you pull the bar up. Lower in the same range of motion, just shy of locking out at the bottom end. Introducing Epix Fitness App, the ultimate destination for bodybuilding enthusiasts. With a vast collection of over 1,000 instructional training videos, our app is your comprehensive guide to train, track, and transform. From beginners to advanced athletes, you'll learn with ease as you access a plethora of workout videos, immersive courses, and enlightening seminars. The best part? You have complete control. Cancel anytime without hassle. Don't miss out on this opportunity to elevate your fitness journey. Click the link in the description to sign up now and embark on your path to a stronger, healthier you. Let's focus on the barbell drag curl exercise. Your hand placement should be approximately shoulder width apart. During the exercise it's important to maintain neutral or slightly backward clocked wrists. As you drag the barbell up, ensure that it stays in contact with the skin of your abdomen and pull it into your rib cage. The barbell should not be raised higher than your nipples. Always keep your shoulder blades pinched together and your traps down throughout the movement. This will help prevent the recruitment of your shoulders and ensure proper form. With each repetition, visualize the action of breaking a walnut between your biceps and forearms. Strive to recreate this movement pattern with each rep. This exercise places significant tension on the lower part of your biceps, targeting that specific area effectively.